Namaste friends. I am Ritesh and today our topic is Makara Adho Mukha Shwanasan. In simple terms, it's a dolphin plank pose. Friends, yogis have been practicing downward facing dog regularly, especially in a vinyasa flow where you have wrist issues coming every time when you do a downward upward plank. This is the pose that gives you a little bit of relief when you're doing that flow. So it's a great warm up and it's great for the core. So it comes into an intermediate level arm balancing pose. Friends, it's a great strengthening to the core. And in case you want to start something with a lower version of a plank, this is a plank position that you can go into. Friends, it's great for the core, but remember, People with cervical spondylitis should be very careful when they do it. So they can use a block while doing it that I'll let you know when I'm doing the practice. A cardiovascular disease, hypertension, or if you have excess weight, avoid this pose. Also diabetes or insulin resistance, just take care while doing it. Pregnancy, especially some ear infection, avoid it. So if you have these problems, please practice it under a medical supervision or an experienced yoga teacher. So let's get into the practice. So before we start this pose, that is the dolphin plank pose, we start first for a beginner level. So very simple, let's see how, we, how it's done. So I keep the palms on the floor. So you can start with a tabletop position. And from a tabletop, you keep the palms especially the palms and the elbows on the floor. Now keep the knees on the floor and just maintain that. That's your position. Breathe in, breathe out. See that the elbows are in line with the shoulder level. It doesn't go out, it doesn't go in. So what I need is when you're doing it, that should be your position. Your shoulder joint should be in line with your elbow joint. So maintaining that position would be a wonderful thing. So putting the knees on the floor makes it a little bit more easier and then slowly and steadily you can lift one knee up then the other knee up. So getting into this pose and maintaining it that's your beginner level pose. Now from here to get into the advanced level just gently lift the knees up. Now maintain this position see that you are not squeezing the shoulders press the arm into the floor and you have this rebounding effect. Neck is long, let the vision be towards the floor. Don't take the neck back, avoid it. Because then what happens, if you take the neck back, there is a lot of compression in the neck, so we don't need that. An extension is fine, but don't avoid taking it too much back. At the same time, the shoulder should not squeeze. Maintain the position, now from here, we don't want the body to go in this way or this way because then there's no co-work involved what we need is a plank activate it neck and shoulders relaxed and breathe then a little bit of modifications you can take one leg up hold it there the other leg up hold it there and that's your variation coming back slowly Relaxing. Come up slowly. And breathe. So friends, that was your dolphin plank pose. Friends, it's a great co-workout. At the same time, people with low back issues would benefit if they slowly or you can say gradually improve from 2 seconds to 5 seconds to 10 seconds. Don't forget to take a support. Also, if you have any spinal injury, it would be great, but you once again just go slowly and gradually. At the same time, it improves your balance, memory and concentration. It gives you a better looking posture because your body is as straight as Tarasana, the foundation pose. Also, it calms the brain and helps relieve stress and mild depression. Friends, people with uh, Reduced bone density, it increases your bone density because it is strengthening asana. Osteoporosis, it improves your metabolism rate. Friends, that was your 
Dolphin Flying Pose. I am Ritesh here. In case you like my video, don't forget to hit the like button and do subscribe. And yes, if you have any suggestions or comments, please mention in the comment section below. Namaste.